We've got challenging times ahead, but engineering in the UK is still busy. And we're here at DMG Mori in Coventry. Now, Paul, th there's a lot of stock here, but there's one machine that I've, I've seen in the industry, and this NTX 2000. I see these a lot, but tell me why you think this is one of the best selling machines that they have. The, the, the NTX is a hugely versatile machine. You, it comes here with two spindles, it comes here with your B-axis head, it comes here with a turret at the bottom of the machine. It means you've got the opportunity to do you know, uh, such a variant of parts. Uh, you, can, you can do you know, high-speed milling, you can do uh, heavy-duty milling, you can do heavy-duty turning, you can do both of these uh, disciplines and you can kind of balance out jobs to get them off the machine as productively and as quickly as possible. And there's quite a few variants, aren't there? I mean, I mean why, why do you have a turret at the bottom there? Because I have seen some of these machines without them. Yeah, you'd have a turret at the bottom um, because it gives you more tools. It means that you can use the turret in conjunction with the milling head on, say, the main spindle or the subspindle and balance turns. You can rough and finish at the same time. You could also put almost like a, uh, a tail stock in the, in the bottom turret as well, which means you can support a longer part. Really, you've got more tools, you've got more flexibility. You can machine on the back spindle while you're machining on the front. Now, these are things you couldn't do if you didn't have a bottom turret. Talking about the turrets in here, I, I mean, I've seen uh, these machines with twin turret, but why just one on this machine? Well, because you, you can obviously buy twin turret machines, but a B-axis head um, will give you, without question, the ability to do more difficult milling. Uh, you can, of course, have a, then a tool changer with this. It becomes a milling machine as well as a turning machine. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. And having a milling machine in a turning machine means you can take a job and you can go, you know, I can't put that on the lathe because I haven't got enough power in my milling tools. Well, now you can. And that's really where these style of machines are, are different. And so, some of the end users I visited, you know, when you look at the operations they were doing before they bought the machine, sometimes it could be three or four different operations on three or four different machines. Yeah, and now you're doing it all in one hit. You're doing it in a much smaller footprint. You're standardizing on, on your production. You're, you're taking any risk out of the machining process. Needs less operator intervention. All of these benefits that, you know, people talk about automation. This is automation, you know, this is automation, this is automating processes uh, and it's done by obviously a very reliable machine from a, uh, a manufacturer that's been doing this for many, many years. And the benefit you get with DMG Mori is their finance packages, it's fantastic. You get the opportunity of actually having this machine installed for up to six months you don't pay a penny. So imagine the work that you could actually invoice. Yeah, if, if, this, machine, if this machine is machining hard, hard complex components for six months, it will be making you some serious money before you have to lay anything out. And that's the opportunity you could uh, take up with DMG Mori at the moment, not just on this machine, but on many of their machine tools. Bye now, pay in six months' time.